Right, we're back with our PP700W. Uh, we've customised it, obviously. Uh, we're just doing another little power test. Oh, yeah, Nate's doing a have a laugh watching Nate use the hand pump to pump it up because I ain't got my tank with me today. So stay tuned and we'll get right into it. <laughs> So one shot to see what the yeah, see what the low is. Pump up and um, well, that's impressive since that's only on. Like yeah, I tell you, the power curve on this is rarely flat. Yeah, yeah. So, oh yeah, must wait. Uh, Fifteen point eight nine grains. These have a little like nuclear waste symbol on the on the tan on yeah, the on the tip. I, mean, I think that was basically the market and behind them. But yeah, these are heavy. These are big boys. These are the Diablo JSB Hades. They got a bit of a, a push a few years ago when they come out, but I haven't really heard much much about them since. If I can get I'm surprised how much power it's got for how low it is on the gauge, which we will show yeah. in a second. Well, I'll better shoot super high because that was really low. 4.82, that did move. Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know. Nice. Well, so it's about time you, you get pumping. Well, if you strip it down, Daz, and show, uh, show the power gauge. Um, so, what we got on the power gauge, considering us. Then just under five foot pound. That's not bad. You're still over a hundred bar. Let's have a look. Let me zoom in. So. So I mean, you're still, still getting. You're still in the premium range, man. I'd go to the first thick line into the into the yellow, and I reckon that that's when you'll see a serious yeah. pound or two yeah. drop off. Well, a pound off. So I'll put the the fill valve in. You see, these come with a. The moulded in quick release. And what I'm gonna have to put this on the floor yeah. now. So I'll zoom in. Oh yeah. Um if you're wondering Daz how how this dust cover come off if you have to. The other day I, <laughs> I printed another one of those shrouds and I put it on and that was stiff and I pulled it off and I pulled that off yeah. and there's an O-ring under it that's literally a push fit. So if anyone was wondering how that come off, um just pull it. We'll put one of our shrouds on and yank it off. Yeah. Right, a quick release adapter onto the... And this probe is nice because that's all built in. It's a lot of probes, you have to buy an extra bit and we'll sort of put it all together. This pump is my son's. I borrowed it. Um, you have got a power gauge or pressure gauge on there as well. You've got your vent screw at the back. So uh, you tighten that up before you start pumping and you must let the pressure out before you take the probe out of your gun or disconnect this hose, go into your gun. Otherwise, you could have a nasty accident. High pressure air. So, okay, here we go. Um, now you got to, with these pumps, you've got to do the whole stroke. And when it starts getting hard, that's um, really when, like now, the pressure's now starting. Now it's starting to go into the gun. And don't do it too quick, otherwise, your gun will heat up quite a bit. The air, when you compress air, get hot. Yeah, so you're over 100 bar in there already. Yeah, and all I'm doing is putting my weight on this and pushing down. And, you know, some people joke and say, well, I've got plenty of that to do that. But, uh, so, well, 150 there. Gonna, Should be about 150. Just, just gone into the green. Let me, wait. Oh, I can't see me. So that's, um, yeah. So that's reading about 120. Well, I'm going to keep going. Um, I'm going to go by the gauge on the pump. So when I get up to end of the green, I'm going to stop. And I'm not going to count the strokes. I'll let you do that. I'll watch the video if you really that way inclined. So that is now starting to get hard. Um, I'm a bit of an old dude. So you young fellas out there won't have no problem with this. So that read 200 now. I wouldn't push it past much more than 200. 
That's in the middle of the green. I usually go right up to the red. Yeah. Because these tanks aren't the high rate, uh, rate as high as like the rifles. Alright. Let's have a look. I'll go. What's it say on your main gauge on the pump? Uh, that's probably more accurate than the ones stuck in the end there. That's right, I'll trust me then. I'm gonna go. Right, I think. Uh, but first, like a little session, that's all you'd really need yeah. though, isn't it? Well, I figure, I ain't counted it yet, and I'm, we could do a video on that, a, a count shot. I think 30 to 40. I think double that. Yeah, see, I don't know. I don't know. No one know that when I got down to basically touching the yellow, and that was still pulling 4.8 foot pound, and that's really what I mean. telling me yeah. that. Yeah, you're still going. Yeah. Nearly, nearly on the red anyway. Is the tank wall? No. Nope. So it's done it nice and slow. So that's the gauge after pumping it. I didn't really get much of a sweat on, to be honest. It took it nice and slow. Yeah, there weren't too many pumps. Was it? No. So what are we doing? Well, well, that's already set for the Hades, isn't it? Should be. Let me just double check that. It's set at uh, 15.89. This one might be a bit because that's the first one after a pump, so. I think that might be a bit harder than usual. Yeah. Oh, I better turn this way on. So we've gone from 4.82 to 4.87. Really? Let's do another one. <laughs> really? <laughs> that's what I mean. Up. The power curve keep so so level for so long. Yeah. That's what I was impressed with for these. Yeah, that is impressive. That's more like it, 5.22. Yeah. So, probably the valve was a little bit sticky. Yeah, Let's give it not, not a massive increase, but. Well, no, you can't go much more, though, can you? 4.8 would have been fine, though, to be honest. Yeah. It's like, you think the average air pistol's like 2, 2.5 if you're lucky. That one did go in a bit easier, though. 5.18. Yeah. yeah. I think that first one might have been. A little bit. A bit flared. Or yeah. Because yeah. that was a bit tricky getting in. Right, what's the weight of the other pallets? Uh, fourteen point six six. Okay. Weight's done on the chrono. Mm. So these are consistent, yeah. at least. Five point ten. Right. So um, let's try one of the new pellets. For oh yeah. Right. So these are these are the Christmas present. Five point oh two. What was that? Five two. Yeah. Five point oh two. Oh, okay. yeah. So. Pumping the gun up really, other than give you a lot more shots, and really, the, the seems power like, don't really come into it. No, it seems to be more weight than velocity, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because yeah. it seems to be getting the heavier pellets up to the same amount kind of velocity yeah. as these smaller ones. Yeah. But yeah. Well, so there we have it, pumping yeah. up the PP700W. That's not as hard as some people may go. Um, and don't panic. Use so, all your air up down the last one, yeah. you know. So, thanks for watching, and if you want to see any more videos on this, just shoot us some ideas. Uh, like, subscribe if you haven't. We appreciate it, so uh, come back for our next video.